As an investigative journalist for the visual investigations team here at the Times, our job is to bring hard visual evidence to the public to give them a transparent view on really controversial, world-changing events. This world of visual investigations, which really came from a broader world that is referred to as open source, started more than a decade ago and really grew with the advance of social media and handheld phones that can take videos and pictures. That has become way more sophisticated now. Now it's, can we look at satellite imagery and tell you what else was happening there at that time? Can we interview witnesses who saw what was happening at that time? Can we look at their text messages? Can we look at social media posts? And can we create basically what was a one-page drawing? Can we now make it into a quilt? Something big, huge, with a lot more pieces of information. The information that we bring to light can be used by people who can make progress, even if it's incremental. For example, after our investigation into the Russian bombing of hospitals in Syria, the German ambassador to the UN held up a copy of the New York Times at the Security Council and waved it in the face of the Russian ambassador who was denying entirely that this was occurring. A lot of this has to do with forces that are beyond our control, but we can at least provide people and the public with information that an event or an abuse has occurred and pressure can build from that and over time you might get results. I ended up at the New York Times, which is not the goal of an average SEPA education. But at SEPA, there were people from the U.S. military, from foreign militaries, from foreign governments, from finance in China, from finance in the United States. These are people who I would never interact with without going to SEPA. And I think that particularly my experience working in a senator's office and seeing how much media had an effect on what they were doing, I think was a really valuable part of that experience. I feel incredibly lucky to have ended up at this place in journalism at this time, which is interesting not only because it is the cutting edge, but because it's doing what I view as the most important thing a journalist can do, which is investigations. Bringing human rights abuses to light, holding the powerful to account. I really can't think of anything else that I would want to be doing except honing these skills and expanding the work we're doing here.